Hey, it's Eric Carlin again with Realty One. We're going to cover the last two sections of the residential purchase contract. And we're going to start right here in section eight. Lines 344 to 389 are intentionally left blank. This allows us to add any additional verbiage that is necessary for this transaction. Uh, then we're going to jump right in here to uh, 8H, which is right here. The days, all reference days in this contract shall be constructed as calendar days, and a day shall begin at 12 a.m. and end at 11.59 p.m. So in other words, these contractual days include weekends and holidays. So when we schedule dates, we want to make sure that we have plenty of time that they are covered. The next thing is calculating time periods. And contract acceptance occurs at the date that the signed contract or any other incorporated counteroffer is delivered and received by the appropriate broker. So what that means is something may be signed on the first, but it's not delivered till the second. Therefore, we do not have to go off the signed date of the first. We can actually start the contract date of the second because that was the day that it's delivered. So that was it uh, really fast. Uh, right here is the term of acceptance. We generally allow at least 24 hours for the uh, seller to accept and review. It's a kind of a common courtesy. Anything less is sometimes challenging. Anything more, uh, we do allow because sometimes people are gone on holidays and they might need that additional day to review the contract. The next thing is here. This is me. Uh, I go through, here's all my contact information. And if you ever need to get a hold of me, my phone number is always on here and the same with my email address. And now for section nine, which is one of the best sections, is once uh, there's a meeting of the minds and there's no counter offers, congratulations, the buyer, or I'm sorry, the seller will accept and we actually get to start escrow and go through this whole contract live and in person. So that's it. Thank you very much. Um, again, if there's any questions, please call me, ask me. I'll be more than happy to walk you through them. And again, just as the very, uh, the very beginning in the first video on the cover plate on the cover page, please review or re please review and read the entire contract. So there's lots of documents, and if there's any questions or concerns, let me know immediately. Thank you very much, and I look forward to working with you. Thanks.